Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for You and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm making a delicious tomato soup for you with both fresh and canned tomatoes and it is gonna be absolutely fantastic. It goes so well with those sourdough pretzels that I make. You will knock everybody's socks off that you serve this to, so stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe below. First, we're gonna start by putting a couple tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of our pan. Then we're gonna put one large chopped onion in there and some pepper and a little bit of salt. We're gonna saute this on medium to medium high heat for a couple minutes, then we're going to add our fresh minced garlic. I wanna show you guys the tomatoes I'm using. I'm using a Pomi chopped tomato, 52 ounces, two cans of San Marzano tomatoes certified, and then also some fresh grape tomatoes. Time to add a big scoop of the garlic that I make up and mince. You should check that video out. Let's get these onions translucent. Oh, I decided to add a little more garlic. You can never have too much garlic, right? All right, it's starting to look nice and yummy and browned. Time to add our tomatoes. Here goes in our pomi chopped tomatoes. Um, I really can't stress getting high quality Italian tomatoes for this soup. You're gonna spend more, but let me tell you, they are amazing. We're going to take that container that the tomatoes came in, fill it half with water, slosh it around, and we're gonna pour it in with our tomatoes. Yum, yum. Then we're gonna take our two cans of the tomatoes that were whole, and we're gonna mush those up in our sauce. I don't like cutting them. I don't like seeing those straight lines. I like a mushed up and it just, oh, they just add so much flavor. Don't use all like sauce or anything. Get some whole tomatoes, especially San Marzano's. They are so delicious. Now we're adding my chicken stock. Now I use a better than bouillon paste, a chicken base instead of using liquid chicken stock because it is cheaper. If you want to use liquid chicken stock, then use that instead of the water that you put in the pomi can. Then you're going to add three sprigs of basil and we're going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes to an hour. This next step is up to you. I take a little potato masher and I just mash the tomatoes up a little bit. I do not like a pureed tomato soup. Now that it's cooked for an hour, let's try it. This would be the time to add, let's say, more chicken base. That'd give it some good round flavor. Hmm, how about pepper? After you've added a little bit more pepper, salt, or base, the next thing we're gonna do, and this finishes it, is we are gonna add butter. Oops, plop that in there a little too quick. About five tablespoons of butter and then you're gonna put in one of those small containers of your chopped tomatoes. We are gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes just to warm up those tomatoes, and then we are going to serve this delicious soup. It is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Watch this. Here we have our gorgeous soup, and then I have Parmesan cheese, and the scallions, the homemade sourdough pretzels, and chopped chicken. Amazing. I hope you really enjoyed this tomato soup recipe. I want you to try it. Please let me know how you like it. One thing I like to do is I like to have a beautiful bouquet of fresh, fresh basil on the table for people just to pinch off and put in their soup. I know we put a few sprigs in the soup, but it also is amazing to have just that fresh punch of basil. And it looks really cool having it at your table for them to use. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Again, please subscribe below, give me a thumbs up, and I would love to hear from you with a comment.